Good morning, Regency. So we're celebrating National Apprenticeship Week and particularly celebrating the great success and contribution that apprenticeships in Guernsey have made. This year, 2024, apprenticeships have a 75 year anniversary. So that means that for the last 75 years, there's been apprentices working in our community. And if you just think about that for a moment, probably every house that has been built in the last 75 years, possibly a meal that's been had in a restaurant and many other areas of our daily lives are likely to have had an apprentice working alongside their employer in that industry. But an apprenticeship, you're fully employed with an employer who will release you to come back and do your professional qualifications and study here at the college. But of course, your employer also is supporting you with that learning whilst you're in work. So it's a really great relationship between the college and the employer to support you, to enable you to gain those skills and professional knowledge, but also the experience of on-the-job training and support. It's an all-age apprenticeship, which means that, yes, of course, we can take school leavers on an apprenticeship, but also it's available for people that might be thinking about switching careers or, or learning a different profession. The apprenticeship is in critical infrastructure areas and professions. And we know that in our community, it's really difficult to recruit people and retain them often. And what the apprenticeship does, it allows people to earn while they learn. It enables them to be committed to a profession, but from an employment and an economic perspective, it's building a, a talent pipeline for the future, and particularly in those critical infrastructure roles that we know our community needs. There's a whole range of different careers where we've been working really closely with local employers to develop the right curriculum for their staff and their future staff. So we currently have apprenticeships in 18 different career pathways. Yes, of course, there's construction, there's also engineering, early years, adult care, built environment, hairdressing. Currently, our oldest apprentice is 54 doing a career switch. Our apprentices range from uh, young people that have finished year 11 at school to people that have perhaps worked for a little while and then decide that they want to achieve professional qualifications in an industry, so perhaps career switches. Just over 60% of our current apprentices are in our construction industry. But as you know, we have apprenticeship pathways in many other industry sectors. So we've launched a new apprenticeship this year, working with employers in the office and business sectors to develop a career launch apprenticeship in office administration. And this is slightly different in that students are with us full time for perhaps the first semester of an academic year. And then they are employed by their employers and released one day a week to come back and complete their studies. But that allows students to gain some really fundamental foundation underpinning skills so that when they are employed, they are already equipped to be, make an active contribution to the workplace. And that's been really successful so far. We've had a lot of work with employers making sure that the curriculum is absolutely right to meet their needs. We'll also be launching a Beauty Therapy Level 3 apprenticeship from next September and again working with local employers to make sure that's the right fit for the industry and of course for apprentices. We've been doing some scoping work with other employment sectors such as project management, such as logistics, but they're all in development. And what's most important is that we understand where our skills gaps are or where employment and recruitment retention is really difficult. And the changing shape of work means that higher level technical skills are going to be more and more in demand. And that's where apprenticeship is a beautiful fit for developing those higher skills. The recent offset experience was really positive for our Guernsey apprenticeship. Inspectors were very, very complimentary about the way that the apprenticeship has been developed in 
partnership with our employers so that employers are really at the centre of creating the curriculum that's right for the employment sector in the island and the professions uh, and professionals that are growing within that. They were very impressed with the skills and mastery and expertise of our current apprentices and we're really also impressed with the teaching and learning for our staff so it's a brilliant result for us but that level of scrutiny really served to underpin how successful the Guernsey apprenticeship is and what it means for our community and I think our community can be really proud that they've got a good college on their doorstep and a good apprenticeship.